Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to explain to you how to calculate a gradient. Now, before you do something like that, it's always very important to know what you are doing uh, because that would make it easier to remember. Now, the gradient is basically how steep a slope is between two different places. Now, that is the simplest way of explaining it. So, the formula is gradient equals vertical interval over horizontal equivalent. Now, what does this tell you? It tells you the vertical interval is the difference in height between those two locations on the map. So it's a simple calculation, 200 minus 140 or something like that. And the horizontal equivalent is simply the distance between those two places. So you are going to calculate, if you have 25 centimeters on your map, then you are going to calculate the real distance between those two places. So let's have a look at our map. So here we have a few contour lines. Um, now it's important to understand what they represent. A contour line is a line that connects every place uh, with the same altitude. So in other words, on this line here for example, each and every place on the line, doesn't matter where we go, it could be here, it could be there or here, every single place on this line is 1020 meters above sea level right so your teacher might ask you to calculate the gradient between point a and point b now first thing you need to know is what is the height of point a so there's there are no numbers on this side of the map but if you just trace this line if you go all along this line you'll see that it's 1020 because every place on this line is 1020 so that's your first number 1020 meters and then you want to know what is the height of this specific place over here and you'll see that it's 1100 meters above sea level the next thing you need to know is the distance between these two places and here uh, it, it's not really 25 but, but let's say it's 25 centimeters and so what you are going to do is you are going to calculate the real distance now I posted a video on the distance calculation um, using different map scales so if you'd like to see that click the link below um, but I'm not going to go into too much detail what you are going to do uh, here is you're going to say 25 centimeters times the scale it will give you a certain number and we'll take it from there so let's look at how it's done so firstly we want to find the difference in height so it's a 1100 minus 1020 and here we are going to calculate the distance it's 25 centimeters times 50,000 so remember we always use the scale when we calculate the real distance now 1100 minus 1020 is 80 meters that's very easy and here we have to do a little calculation this will give you a total of 1,250,000 centimeters now obviously you want to convert centimeters to kilometers um, so how do we do this we say 1,250,000 divided by 100 thousand and this will give you so let's just write that amount this will give you a total of 12 comma 5 kilometers now obviously this we are going to write the final answer as a ratio and that is why we can't compare meters with kilometers and that is why we are going to convert this to meters so this would give you I don't have enough space to write everything out but this is 12,500 meters 12,500 meters now we want to simplify these numbers and so what we are going to do is we are going to write a 1 here. How did I get the 1? 80 divided by 80. So you do the same below the line. 12,500 divided by 80. And it gives you a total of 156.25. Let's make it 3. 
Now, some of you might say, but this doesn't make any sense. You can't write a fraction like this, and it's absolutely correct. You can't write fractions like this, but this isn't a fraction. This is a ratio. This is a, nothing to do with maths or, or fractions or anything like that. So, this is how we are going to write it. It's 1, 2, 1, 5, 6, 3. Now, some of you will remember what this ratio is telling us. It tells us that for every 156,3 meters that we travel from point A to point B, there will be an increase in height of one meter. Now, what does this tell us about the slope? It tells us that it's a very, very gentle slope because you have to travel quite a long distance before there is an increase uh, in height of only one meter. So the smaller this number here, the steeper the slope. So let's say there is another um, gradient and the answer is one, two, two. Then it means the slope is very steep. Because for every two meters that you travel from point X to point Y, there's an increase in height of one meter. And that is quite steep. So, I hope you understand how to calculate a gradient now. I've also posted other videos on how to calculate distance. I explained map, different map scales in, in, in detail. And I've also posted a video on how to, to measure a bearing and so on. So, so please feel free to click one of the links below if you need more information on some of these topics. And remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.